Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Charwell. We have uh, skipped a day. It's now early winter, so we've skipped the final day of autumn. And the reason for that is because we had some very wet crop. We had some good drying conditions uh, previous day. And we're now down to 24%. So it's not quite there yet. Um... Now, most people gave a response of uh, that they wanted me to keep the moisture on and uh, and see if we could harvest with the moisture on. So what we're going to do is we're running at 15 times at the moment. Uh, we've got some work to do with the animals because we've skipped today. And what we're going to do is after that, we're going to see how low the moisture drops and see uh, what happens. And if it's... If it's like 23, 22%, uh, we'll harvest it at that point. We'll drop the moisture off and harvest it at that point. Because, yeah, we have to get this cut. And that, to me, is an acceptable compromise. So, let's see how we do. So, we're in our JCB. Um, we are going to need to... So, if we look at our animals here... Uh, we need to... Wow, both our chickens and our pigs need pretty much everything. Skipping that day has uh, has neglected them quite badly. So, uh, yeah. We're going to need... It's only really a bucket that we need for each of them. Uh, so that should keep us going fairly well. But it's... Uh, <laughs> it's one of those things where we could have harvested it at a higher moisture content, but I didn't feel happy trying to sell it at that kind of level uh, oh before we do this let's just open whoop, open up our valve here there we go get some water flowing yeah i didn't feel good um sort of opening it up uh sort of uh you know harvesting it at 34 percent moisture which is where we were on the previous game day uh, and then using, uh, and then trying to sell that later. 22%, 23%, I think we can get away with it. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I think it's a good compromise um, for us to get it as low as we can and, uh, and then to do it. Uh, especially with that good drying day we had the previous day. Um, the reason why we're going to have to do it today is because you can see 9 o'clock this evening. We have a uh, we have snow coming in, um, and uh, so we're going to go till about midday, one o'clock ish. Uh, we'll see where that leaves us once we got our animals done. So it's uh, a very sort of animal focused uh, video for the first half today. I think lots to do. Uh, we have got uh, eggs being produced, which is brilliant. Now the thing about it is uh, that. Uh, I have been I have been told that it's basically one rooster to every eight chickens. Uh, so we're probably going to increase the number of roosters we've got today because we want we want to be breeding chickens. Uh, at the same time, we want to still be producing eggs. So we want to get a good breeding rate along with a good uh, egg rate. Uh, so we're going to keep an eye on that. See if we can get some meat from both. Now, as I said, I think... Oh, yeah, there we go. We didn't want to do that. We want to pick up this last little bit of these. Oh. There we are. Right, let's take that back. So it isn't quite a full uh, bucket each time for feeding, uh, feeding the pigs. I think in the long term, there is a, uh, a big sort of pig feeding mixer we can get hold of. And, uh, and this issue we've had with the corn, I think we're going to look at getting that. Uh, it's a global, it's part of the global company mod. Uh, but what it does uh, is it allows you to use corn or sugar beet or potatoes. So as we're beginning to look towards a second year here, uh, I might look at uh, seeing if we can swap out one of our corn setups for something like sugar beet. Uh, and then put that into the rotation and go uh, and go that way with that. Which I think would be a pretty neat and pretty cool way to go. So we're going to look at doing that, I think. Uh, and uh, and seeing as we seem to be harv uh, hiring harvest stuff around here. 
let's see how we do with that. Uh, so we let that will do for the wheat. We could actually um, attach more. There we go. <laughs> I said attach more. No. Nope. We're caught under that. There we go. So yeah, our pigs are doing fairly well. Uh, I'm quite uh, I'm quite happy with how we're keeping with them at the moment. We've cleaned them out. They're producing a good amount of manure. We're going to have to give them some more uh, straw as well. Uh, this is wheat, of course. So we're going to just fill this up so that we can then go and feed our chickens as well. Good to see that we've got a nice big amount of wheat here. Uh, that will mean that we can... Uh, we can keep our chickens going very easily as well as our uh, pigs. So this is here. That is looking very full. Let's have a look at that. Uh, so chickens. Oh, wow. They need a lot more than that. So we'll clean up as well while we're at it. And that will all go in there for the chickens. Let's see. Uh, ooh, keep forgetting that that screen no longer does that. Yeah, just a touch more wheat for chickens. So that looks like what we could do each time is actually um, feed the pigs and then what we had left over, feed the chickens and then get another bucket for the chickens. Now, we don't need a lot. That has given us a, immediately a full bucket load. Uh, this little JCB actually absolutely perfect for what we're doing here. We're not really uh, moving around much. We're not loading stuff uh, much stuff up. There's a bowl there that won't move. Yeah, there we go. Right, that should sort us in a little bit more. Not much. How's that? That will do very nicely so we're going to put this back on the pile and oh there's our rooster uh so as i said yeah we probably need another couple of roosters to uh, to help with our breeding program with our chickens uh but that has got both our chickens and our um pigs fed so we'll drop the bucket off this i'm actually going to drop the bucket off uh, at the end here i think we're going to have to start uh, sort of storing stuff out the way. We do have another shed, of course, that, that we could put this in. But I want to get this right. And there we go. So this has plenty of uh, straw left in this for us to pass and get round. And then close the gate into our pig yard so that our pigs don't escape. We discovered last time that we actually can just swing this round and we should be able to unload this. Uh, I need to select the right bits. There we go. And just blow that into there. 3,000 litres of uh, straw left. So this will uh, this should give our pigs plenty to keep going. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we'll give them plenty to going. We can actually do it with another bucket full of straw. So I think we'll do that as well. Uh, we have got up to midday. So once we've got this sorted and got these pigs uh, sorted, this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be enough straw. They take 3,000. So it leaves us with 205 in here. So go put this away as well. Uh, no, we're going to put this away in here. And that will do us grand. Yeah. Put that there. It is nicely out of the way. Switch over and drop and back. There we go. And, uh, and yeah, we'll just park this little thing over here. As I said, we'll need to put a bit more corner, but we can put that in later. That will work out well. So, half past 12 at this point in game, and we want to head over and check out our crop. Now, fortunately, what we can do is we can go through our pigs here and just hop over the fence a couple of times in order to reach the field. 
and check on our moisture content. We're down to 23%. I am, I am going to call that as a good time for us to harvest this. So it's not perfect and we are going to have to turn the moisture off. But it is in, within a acceptable tolerant f tolerance for me. Um, I, I wouldn't want to do it when it was any lower. Uh, sorry, any higher. Uh, you know, in previous game day it was like as high as 34%. I don't think we're going to get much lower on this game day um, than that. So, uh, yeah, we, we, need to, we need to get it harvested. So, that is my compromise, is that we're not doing it a ridiculously high. At the same time, we're losing light. It is getting into the afternoon, and we do need to harvest it. Now, we have three fields to do, so I'm setting us down to one. Um, and we are going to have to work out how much we need to spend on our hiring. So, the same combine we had last time, which is uh, this one, 228,000 for the CR690. Uh, to get it how we want to, uh, which is uh, the Michelins without crawler tracks, uh, with GPS, uh, and uh, does the style add anything? Uh, Revolution Edition adds 200, so that's fine. So that is 12,400 for that setup. Uh, if we have a look in here, we do have this uh, John Deere combine, which is uh, which is pretty good. Uh, takes it has an 8,000 litre capacity, so we might be able to up that a little bit. Uh, tank extension, there we go. So that would be a tank extension, not a very um, not a very European combine that, but I think that would probably save us a bit of money. Uh, yeah, looks like it'd be under 10 grand. What have we got? Big top Brazil support, Brazil cover. Yeah, this is not a European uh, looking combine. Um, so it kind of rules that out. Uh, the Tucano is way too expensive. So I think we're going to be going. I think we're going to be going with the CR690 again. So we need 12,000 for that. Uh, the header for it, uh, for this, we want to get probably, we probably get away with a bigger header actually. So something like a nine meter header, I think would work. In fact, is that a New Holland nine meter header? So that would be 3,000. So we're up to about 16,000. Uh, we need a trailer as well. So that would be uh, this. Uh, we will go with, because it's slightly cheaper uh, and uh, a nicer, we go with this, uh, 21,000 for that. 39, 21,700 for that setup. So we'll go with that as well. Um, that is, uh, if we go with the Michelins, which I prefer uh, with the reflect tape uh, and with a cover, uh, that is going to cost us 1,800. So we're going to need about 20 grand because the last thing that we need is to get a, uh, is to get a belt. And so the quantum, yeah. So if we get 20,000, in alone to do this harvest uh, we'll easily pay for it with the corn so borrow uh twenty thousand it's nineteen thousand so we'll see how far this stretches so combine first just checking here whether there's anything else this john deere here 285 versus 228 to do the same kind of price uh, yeah, we're not going to get a similar sized grain uh, grain tank. So, we are going to go with the 690. Michelin's standards. Uh, Revolution, we can uh, get like last time and that. So, we are going to lease this combine. Together with that, we are going to lease a header for it as well. Uh, nice thing about this. Uh, we can lease this John Deere, uh, sorry, this uh, New Holland header. So lease that as well. That will get the job done a little bit quicker. We also need a trailer. So let's uh, lease ourselves the Bailey. Uh, Going to go with a design color of silver with a rim color of 
silver. That then matches our JCB quite nicely. Configuration is the arch. Wheel brand is Michelin. No rear hitch. Uh, reflective tape and cover. Uh, that is good. So we will lease that as well. That's 2,100. Sorry, 1,208. Um, and that leaves us with 2,948, which is perfect for us to lease the very last bit, which is this, which is our that. So uh, we want to lease that as well. So that is all good. That is our setup uh, looking pretty snazzy. Uh, we're going to head back over to the farm here and grab the JCB so that we can get this all set up. Reverse this out of here. And get it over to the shop. So I'm going to get this all set up, I think. Uh, and uh, and then we're going to be in a position where we can get cracking on this first field. Nine meter header is going to do us pretty well. Uh, very similar setup to we had for our other crops. Uh, and we're going to see if we can, uh, yeah, fill the remaining bays with corn uh, with the three fields we have left. I think this is probably going to take us uh, this game day and, uh, sorry, this stream, uh, this video, sorry, not this stream, this video and the next to get uh, both of these covered. Um, we are a little bit into it. So, uh, yeah, let's get cracking and see if we can, uh, can get some corn harvested. So I've put, positioned this in here. We'll then be able to tip this onto the existing uh, one. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to set the unloading going. Uh, and we'll also put the handbrake back on. Uh, so yeah, there we go. So we should be able to back this straight up, our trailer straight up to that and empty it now. So it's back to uh, the shop uh, where I'm going to go and hook the combine up to the header and uh, and get it over to the field and we'll see what our moisture content is down to uh, and uh, and if we can get started so we're down at the field uh, we're just maneuvering our combine through the gateway like so i want to make sure that we're clear of the gate as much as possible uh, let's see what our moisture is down to i'm expecting sort of 23 yeah 23 uh, we will just tick it over the hour quickly See if that makes any difference to the actual uh, amount. There we go. And try that. What is our moisture content? Our moisture content is 22%. So we are going to take that. Um, that is about as close as I think we're going to get. We're not on a great drying day. Uh, you can see the drying is going to get... Yeah, it's not going to take us anywhere. We've got nothing but sort of snow and rain on the way. So as a result, into the season's menu, we are going to turn off the crop moisture for now. Uh, and uh, we'll turn it back on once we've finished harvesting all this. And let's uh, unfold. Now, did that actually turn off? Yes, it did. Right. So let's... Uh, unfold our header like so make sure we're far enough into the field uh, we want to unfold our combine as well start her up and away we go like so so yeah we are harvesting this at 22 percent moisture not perfect uh not really what i wanted to do uh, but we're not going to get it any lower. And I have, I will be honest, I did test this. Um, I tested how much lower this moisture would go. And this is the lowest we uh, could get to um, at 22%. So it very much is. I, I think if you were to, uh, in, in real life, if, you're, if you have a choice of harvesting at 22% moisture like this, or not harvesting at all and letting your your fields of crops just completely die, uh, then you're you're going to harvest at 22%. You're not going to leave it uh, so that it's uh, so that your crop just dies. So uh, yeah, that is uh, that is the big reasoning behind my decision is is the fact that you wouldn't leave it. You would harvest it. Um, and it's not perfect. And you'd probably sell it fairly quickly. And I think what we're going to do 
uh, even with this uh, this moisture. Uh, or you'd probably try and dry it in real life. You'd have a good dryer, but we don't have that on the farm. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is probably sell it pretty quickly, I think. Let's have a look at, uh, at the value and the prices at the moment for corn. Uh, value for corn at the moment is 715 is the highest. And if we look in seasons, best sale price for corn uh, is actually early summer. But two days time is a good selling time. So, uh, yeah, that will be uh, that will be a good time for us. So we'll probably hold on to the trailer for a couple of days as a result of that. Uh, for now, though, uh, I'm going to keep cutting this field. Let's get this field knocked out. And, uh, and yeah, we should be in a good place. This 9 meter header is a perfect size for this combine. We are nearly coming, well, we're coming to the end of our first round of the field. And, uh, and yet yeah, we have almost a full tank. So that's really, really good. Really happy about that. Uh, my voice is grating a little bit. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway, so, uh, oh, we didn't quite close the gate. Um, but it does mean that we're not going to get very far around the second headland uh, without having to empty. Um, which is pretty good for us. So what we're going to do is pop out of the uh, cab. Let's, uh, let's get these harvested. We need to turn our combine around and head back around the other way. Um, yeah, 9 meter head are absolutely perfect for this combine. Uh, we should have good clearance from the header. Uh, with the auger as well. But we'll give that a test in a moment. Um, but this is getting the field done really quickly. Really nicely. And uh, it means that we should be in a great position. Uh, for clearing this field out pretty quickly. And, uh, and we're going to go and get the other small fields done. Uh, next. Uh, as part of this. Clear these two fields out. And then we've just got our big field for next time. So let's head over to here take the cover off our trailer and get the JCB over there. I do like this combination of this green Bailey trailer with the silver accents with this JCB. It just looks really, really nice and, uh, and an absolutely cracking setup. Oh, out before this car. There we go. Uh, we're going to reopen our gate but that's okay. Yeah, really, really nice setup. Uh, these two together. And we'll just pull this over here then. And pull it up beside it. Perfect. And that will empty pretty quickly. So, uh, yes, yeah, pretty much the same setup as we had last time. Right, let's put our header down like so. Pretty much the same setup as we had last time. Looking mighty fine, these two bits of kit together. And uh, I'm very, very I'm liking it a lot, uh, this setup. Uh, that has emptied our combine. Let's start her up again. Put our auger in, and away we go. So we can hold just under two tanks in that trailer so we should be able to get another headland done i think uh, and then empty again before we cut into the field we could then leave our combine on a hired worker working the field uh while we go and tip because of course it's going to take us a little while to tip with the setup we've got here uh <clears throat> but it's the most efficient way of doing this field uh, which is uh, which is exactly what we want to do. We want to be as efficient as possible getting this done. So coming up to the end of the second headland, we're just over 50% full. Which is not bad at all. In fact, I think we're going to be about 55% full uh, by the end of it. So we want to empty this out uh, into our... Um, into our trailer and then we'll as i said we'll set we'll go and tip this and we'll set this off with the hired worker into the body of the field which is uh yeah which is going to be about a 45 degree angle 
Uh, this will fill up most of this trailer. It's it's going to have a little bit left over. There we go. And what I want to do is the longest part of this field here, which is this corner, we're going to set off our harvester on. So a uh, hired worker attacking that while we go and get this tipped. Uh, we're 81% full. So that'll be, uh, that's high enough. 17,000 litres of uh, corn. Oh, not quite enough space for us to turn around. Never mind. Uh, again, would be helpful if we had a uh, front wheel steer on this only, but uh, this JCB, of course, does have that issue. Uh, that means we can't actually uh, do the um, alter the steering, which is, it's always been odd with this JCB, that problem. So we're back to the farm. Uh, we're going to head back to the farm. We want to switch our uh, tip side to the grain door and then into the yard. And we'll, again, we're going to bring this round. So we want a, a fairly shallow turn. To get our trailer into position. Like so. And with that backed up to there. That's not quite where we want it yet. Got to be careful. Don't want to move our... Uh, bit too much. There we are. So tip that. Again, it's uh, it has the whole capacity issue. So uh, we'll get this tipped. And, uh, and then we'll head back to the field. Last 5% going in. I think there, there is a better way I can do this. I think we could use... Uh, somebody suggested the, the, the one that goes on the floor. But to be honest, I think the better way to do it might be to... Uh, I'll show, see if I can show you it. It is... Uh, yeah, this one here. So the RH2460, that might be a good one as well. Although that only takes those. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult to i don't really want to tip it on the ground but that would be uh the s710 would uh would kind of do the trick if i wanted to ooh, he stopped uh to go that way that would be good yeah i'm not surprised i got beeped for that one uh right head, heading back to the field our combine is 69 percent full uh it is uh, doing a grand job with the hired worker so we are going to go and uh, take control of it and uh, and continue on with our harvest. Uh, and we're going to take it from this side. We'll turn it back on. We're going to take it uh, over to the other side here. And see if we can uh, clear this out. I'm quite happy that it, uh, that it took the main body bit of the field out. Uh, which is quite cool. Uh, and in fact has covered most of this field, which is good news. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we can uh, we can cover this last bit over here. Uh, and we've probably got uh, another tank and a bit left. So, uh, yeah, let's fill this up and we will go from there. 88% full. Uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll head over here and... Uh, and Get it cutting back in here. Like so. Put a hired worker on. And head over here. So that we can now pull alongside. And uh, and get this emptied. Nice and efficiently. Can't believe we're down to 905. Uh, but that's okay. We are, as I said, we are going to be uh, selling off some of this. Uh, despite the slightly high moisture content to it, uh, it will uh, it will be fine. It will be absolutely fine. There we are. So that is that helper finished. 
So we'll turn that off. Hop around here and grab the combine. Oh, we do have a stalk kit. Get that in. And now we can head down and finish off this field. With this finish, what we're going to do is we're going to pop up to field 44. Uh, it's a small field. It shouldn't take very long to knock out. Uh, and that will be then be the two main fields for today done and dusted. And, uh, and looking at this, not a moment too soon either. Uh, it is, uh, as I said, we are, we are just facing such a huge wet night. Uh, this is uh, this is what we've had to do for this. Which, uh, you know, let me know, guys. Do you think it's a fair compromise? Uh, allowing it at 22 degrees, knowing that we are going to hit uh, this issue later on uh, of, uh, of it being too wet. Right, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to turn that off. Uh, we're going to fold that up. And while that's folding up, we're going to pop over and grab this. Get our combine emptied. And then I'm going to go and tip this and get our combine up to the other field. There we go. So that is, uh, that is all that was in there. Let's go tip this. And, uh, and then we can head up to the other field and get that done as well. There we go. That is the last of this corn tipped. So we're going to head back to the field with this. And, uh, and follow our combine round to field 42. Uh, where we can very quickly and simply uh, get that field cut as well. Uh, which, uh, well, yeah, means that those two fields are done for today. Uh, we shall be very, very happy. So the way to do this is, uh, is we will head out of this gate here. Which will actually give us a straight run towards our... Uh, destination as well or into the field that we're trying to get into we're going to do that and we'll fold oop, not that that down as well perfect let's get this following and we're going to reduce that follow distance a bit and away we go Interesting thing about the setup here is this this yard here seems to be set up to be our uh, To be one of our yards. The trouble is that it actually belongs to the bit at the top of the map So as a result, we can't actually use it. I'm gonna wait till this traffic goes past It's quite a long stream of traffic this There we go. Traffic is passed. So we get past this and head along here. So yeah, we need to be a little bit over to the left here in order to get past. The trouble is, every time we come to a pylon, we then have to come out into the middle of the road and back. And hopefully there's enough space along this bit here for us to get the combine down. It's quite a long drive, this. But we should be all right, I think. Yeah, we're doing okay. Our tractor is not behind us at the moment. I think that's because it's got a slower... Yeah, I think it's got a slower um, setting on it. So, for its uh, cruise control. But it won't take too long to get here. And as I said, we've got a nice, a much clearer drive into our field here as a result of this. Although we may have to fold our 
header out a little way into the field. So we'll lose a little bit of crop doing that. Uh, unfold that. Unfold this. And looking at this, two headlands is going to almost completely knock this field out very, very quickly. Start her up, drop her down. And away we go. Uh, let's get that off while we're at it. Right, let's see how long it takes us to get a full load. And hopefully our tractor, yeah, our tractor is not going to be too far behind. Uh, so that will follow us around the field as well. First headland is done and we are at 77%. So what I'm going to try and do is that tractor is going to get stuck there anyway. So I am going to reverse this out here. I'm going to get this into position to start this row here. Put out our auger. And then we'll grab this. And we can then put this on. Uh, we'll put this back on follow me. As soon as we can get it turned around. Again, try not to turn too sharply because uh, we will end up with an issue. I think we've got crop destruction on. Yes, we have. Uh, right. And then what we'll do is uh, bring this round the back here. Put follow me back on. Right. We want to be about seven and a half on the offset. Uh, and then we're going to put it ten in front. And that should hopefully put us in position to unload this combine as we go down this side. So let's see if that allows us to do it. I think it does. I think it very much does. Looking very, very nice. If we can just keep that side bit in there, uh, we will all be good. Yep, yeah, there we go. Emptied. So uh, let's stop that and uh, and there. So yeah, two headlands out of this. Uh, we're going to basically be running down uh, one side, trying to finish this off. It is, uh, it is looking very good though. At the moment we have got a, we've got at least one tank off here so far. I think we're gonna have part of another. Uh, very nice amount of corn. Gonna mean we have a, a, a good amount to feed our pigs for a long while. And we should have some to sell at the end of this as well, uh, which will be good. And as I said before, uh, the moisture content we're at, is, is it still 22%? Have we gone any lower? Can we get any lower? No, we're still at 22%. So we're not going to get it any lower uh, this game day, I don't think. Not with the amount of uh, daylight left and, uh, and what we've got. So 22% was the right time to cut it. And uh, it means that we can actually get the corn in. We will re-enable the uh, the moisture uh, setting once we uh, once we got the corn cut, uh, and it's kind of a, a, a special uh, special case that we're doing this. But it has worked out well. So let's get the rest of this field cut, see how much we have, and uh, and go from there. Coming to the last little bit of the field now, and it looks like we're going to have just over half a tank from this, uh, which is pretty good. In fact, there is the beep for 50%. Uh, so, yeah, not bad at all. Another 6,000 litres uh, on the top of uh, what we've already got off this field. Uh, means about another three quarters of a trailer full. Um yeah, really, really pleased with that. That is a good uh, corn harvest so far. Uh, this will finish off our current... Um, oh, right. Let's turn off the thresher. Let's put this out. I'm going to put the header down. Switch over to the JCB so we can empty this. Uh, so, yeah, we've got 11,000 in here at the moment. So, we're going to be up to 
pretty much 18,000 litres uh, in our trailer. Uh, really, really good. Uh, so we've got one more field of corn. You can just see it in the distance there. We're going to get that cut next time. Uh, this is a very, very nice amount of corn. And we're going to go and get this tipped and put into our shed. So, yeah, this game day is going to be over two videos. But as I said, we have skipped a game day. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's been a good thing. Um, I hope you guys agree with my decision to uh, harvest at 22% moisture with no seeming uh, uh, ability that it's going to get any lower. Um, but yeah, let us know down in the comments. For now though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.